Okay, I am on my way to a place called Greensburg, Indiana. A friend of mine is a partial owner of a trucking company, and he's calling in a favor to have me come down and help him make some sort of promotional video for it. I don't know why he's chosen to use mini quads, because I don't have any, like, phantoms or anything for the task, uh, but I have a feeling that he wants me to do something insane with them, so I'm kind of excited to see what happens. All right, looks like we're here, so let's see what this is all about. Well, I knew that. I said you were going back over the interstate, right? Down here at this exit. I'm Ryan Schilling. I uh, have a trucking company based out of Rushville, Indiana that uh, runs nationwide. And uh, today we're doing um, a drone session around, or an FPV session around one of our trucks. I'm interested in the sport. and You know, I, I know you, you're, you're local. You know, we'd like to do some unique things with our social media ourselves. We have chose a location that is uh, remote. Uh, it's a new road built that uh, isn't used much. We have spotters in multiple vehicles, um, and we have a small segment that we've uh, We've set aside right now to, to, that will keep it uh, the location safe. So the goal is to fly through this gap here under the trailer moving at full speed. But what's what's this trailer weigh about? Uh, about 7,500, 7,800 pounds probably. So four tons worth of trailer that most of which is weight is on those tires behind where I will be flying. So if I miss this, there's a strong likelihood of a drone becoming roadkill. <laughs> so like a smart, responsible adult, we're gonna go ahead and record it with the GoPro so that we can see the carnage as it happens. GoPro mounted under the trailer of a semi. Say goodbye. <laughs> All right. So this is the single stupidest thing I've ever done with the drone. I think maybe diving a waterfall in uh, Hawaii is worse, but this is like what? Yeah, I'm trying to get to it. Got to do it here. No, but you hit record. Yeah, it was recording as we walked away. Okay. All right. So let's call it. Uh, if you could stay at like 20 miles an hour this time, 20 miles an hour, yeah. and I'm gonna wait until we get yeah. past those first set of uh, power yeah. lines. Okay. And then that's when I'm gonna try it. All right, and I'll make sure you tell me when you're gonna do it, so I know it's on the other side of the road. Okay. Okay. I'm oh, still yeah. not hooked up with the GoPro yet, so I don't know what's going on. All right, we'll be okay either way. Why is this recording? Yeah, it, it was flashing red as we walked away. I saw that. Oh my gosh! Sorry, sorry. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I don't have the same view. Yeah, yeah, you tell me how this feels. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ryan was more scared about that one. Alright, here goes nothing. Are you recording on this camera we're looking at you too? Yep. Because the power loop. Oh, oh, no cars, just so you're aware. Yeah, please, thank you. No cars. We are clear. We have cars. Oh my gosh, dude. Are we good? Oh my gosh. Oh, he's hovering. He's hovering. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to hit the shit out of me. That was insane. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he went under and oh, I failed again. He's trying to do a full loop, go under and then back under. No dip. Yeah. That's all. And he's under and oh, no! <laughs> oh yes! All right, I'm landing it. <laughs> 
Pull that SD card out. We're done for the day, boys. <laughs> Power loop moving <laughs> semi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so now that we're done with that ordeal, we're headed over to Ryan's house, um, where he apparently has a permatrack set up outside in his yard. And then after that, we were talking about potentially going to this really sweet spot that was like a railroad bridge with like railroad tie crossings and stuff like that. All of this could turn out to continue being a crazy adventure.